Hello community, Blair IGN here. Um, now I know I finished the game mode yesterday, but I want your help here. Now I've thought about how I'm going to design the map, but one thing I realized is that I can't do a realistic, dark and gritty style in a similar style to PUBG. And that is because I am me, I am Blair IGN. I have too much of a link or a connection to PUBG leaks. PUBG's data mining, that if somebody comes out and says former PUBG data miner, former PUBG leaker, creates new PUBG style game, creates PUBG 2, PUBG 3, that's going to create a really bad message, a really bad look to the folks at PUBG. That's not very cool. And so I'm thinking, okay, the way I can avoid this is by making my map totally different from Erangel, from Ronzo, from Tego, but the other way I can do this is by adding a fictional world or a sci-fi world. And this is what I want your help with. What kind of art style, what kind of setting, what kind of uh, style direction would you like to see? Uh, would you like to suggest for this project? Um, and if you have any ideas in how we can execute that sort of dark and gritty style without compromising the objective, which is to not make the game too similar or a lookalike or possibly confusing with PUBG Battlegrounds. Um, now this is the second thing I want to announce today, which is the main menu. Now it seems to me that saying that I'm working on a map and in saying that I'm working on the main menu seems uh, counterintuitive because one is about UI, the other is about uh, map design, right? But actually for me, it is actually the same thing because I don't want to go for a UI uh, lobby, a UI main menu. The type of lobby that I'm going for is a three-dimensional lobby. One that you might see in a game like Phasmophobia. One that you might see in a game like Lethal Company. In these games, the main menu or the lobby is a spaceship. Is a mystery van. Is a room. Is a headquarters. That you actually interact with um, three-dimensionally. That you actually use physical or at least digital objects to enable. So let's say you want to change a setting, then you would click this thing. Let's say that you want to uh, watch an esports channel or, or check social media. Let's say if you want to check social media following the uh, player IGN Battlegrounds game news, then you would interact with a phone. If you want to watch some kind of stream or uh, comp competition, then you would interact with a computer, right? So it's a little bit more of a three-dimensional, next, you know, next level sort of um, way of executing a lobby. Um, that's what I'm going for. Now, I probably will not be able to show all of my entire map. And the reason for that is because the map itself, the, the player flow, the routes, uh, that is the actual mod. That is the actual game. The route-based system, the the three-dimensional lobby, that's all stuff I came up with. But the actual map itself is the actual mod. And I do not want to give that away, at least until I figure things out. And so, what I could show are, you know, snippets of, or parts of the map, but not the entirety. That's going to, going to give too much away. But um, that's all the update today. Let me know in the comments. Comment down below. What do you think? If you have an idea, some kind of setting, some kind of art style, some kind of direction that you want to see my maps uh, go in a direction of. If you have a suggestion for how I can execute a dark and gritty style without being it, uh, without my game, without my project, being confused uh, with PUBG. You know, go for it. You know, comment down below. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Engage. And um, I'll see you in the next update video. Say